we will uh, uh, talk about the uh, set membership method or set element method. Uh, there are various names for that and uh, what it is is if you want to prove two sets uh, let's say a equal to b uh, you can pretend that x belongs to a and then you keep using different laws and identity laws and then eventually you say how oh, x belongs to b2 or the other way around you start with x belongs to b and you do several steps and then eventually you find oh x belongs to a and uh, similarly if you want to say a union b is same as b union a similarly so uh, same method if it's just build, pretend x belongs to a union b and you apply several set identity law and uh, then you eventually prove oh x belongs to b union a or the other, other way around you start with x belongs to b union a and you apply several set identity laws and eventually you prove oh x belongs to uh, sorry belongs to uh, a union b so there that is the set element method so we are going to use a simple um, uh, let's take a simple example here the let's take the distributive law for example let's take uh, this uh, uh, the first one the first distributive law all right and apply here and see how it so we are going to prove that uh, this left hand side is same as the right hand side so let's pretend using the set element method so x belongs to a union sorry a intersection b uh, union c so that is the left hand side right we actually have to say x such that we have to say that then we we'll, uh, we're going to simplify this right um, if you see here um, um, we have to expand that x such that x belongs to a intersection b or x belongs to c right and uh, what does this mean this means x such that x belongs to a and and x belongs to b or x belongs to c right so it says x belongs to c or x belongs to a and b so that could be rewritten as you can expand that also like so what does it mean uh, it means x belongs to a or x belongs to c right and or and x belongs to b or we are just rewriting this you may wonder how can you rewrite this right take for example uh, this condition right uh, the first condition here this kind of little some people find it hard let's take this example i'll take you a simple example real life situation um, the 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 student is applying for a job a guy is applying for a job right so the requirement says he has to have a master's uh, let's say a a, a, a a guy is applying for a teaching job right teaching job and the requirement says you should have a master's degree or uh, and 
uh, say 10 year experience right so master's degree and 10 years experience or a PhD so if you have one of these then you can teach so what does it mean I can say oh if you have a master's degree or a PhD then you can teach or if you have a PhD and oh, I put everywhere and and right sorry uh, and you have 10 years experience or a PhD and these two my friend are the same if you look at it how let's say you have PhD right so I have in the second condition if you see here I have PhD here and I have PhD here so that passes if you have master's degree I have masters I'm not worried about this and I have 10 years experience this also passes so this could be rewritten what we did was we wrote, rewrote this in terms of this similarly here too okay so go ahead and uh, see if it makes sense pause the video and make sense okay okay let's go ahead and remove that guy so we rewrite uh, that and the next is such that what this means it means a belongs to a union C and and basically means right X belongs to B union C right so here that means as you can see X such that X belongs to a union C intersection B union C quite easily done so this is one proof from the left hand side to the right hand side that's all we did we did we took it from the left hand side and I know how that happened So we took from the left hand side, we started and proving each step to eventually get our uh, what we wanted, right? So that's one way. We can do the other one also. Let's go the set difference law. Set difference law states that, right, A intersection B is equal to A minus B complement. If you want, we can go from left hand side, uh, right hand side to the left hand side. Okay, let's try that. X such that X belongs to A minus B b complement that means x belongs to a and x does not belong to b complement that's the basic definition right and this could be written as x belong to a and x belongs to b right and this one can be written as x belongs to a intersection b right 
So we proved here from the right hand side to the left hand side. So this is the way it's called set element method, a set membership method. There are various ways to prove it. Okay. Thank you.